us. We've been fishing a little while. We had some responses. Nothing in the hand yet. That's how it is sometimes. But I've noticed that fly's got a lot of action to it. Uh, I was just wondering if maybe you could discuss like, yeah. you know, like how you're trying to move the fly. So you do a couple different retrieves. Yeah, I have. Maybe, I have been doing. A, I have been doing a few it. different retrieves. Um, you know, first one. You know, if I cast out straight pull with, with hand motion, giving that line a little bit of time to work. I also utilize on this particular pattern the two-handed burn, which works good, especially over flat. You're never going to outrun a trout in 55 degree water, that's for sure. Yeah, it's 14 mile an hour yep. burst speed. You cannot outrun them, <laughs> so you're not moving your fly too fast. Um, the next one is I'll use my rod a little bit. Old school jerking strip. Yep. Yep. But short motions, you know. You know, sometimes up and down, that kind of stuff works good. I don't know how, you know, everybody does it differently. But when, you know, kind of a method from Kelly. You can do that rod in all sorts of different ways. You can go like this, move the rod like that, but make sure that this hand gathers up that line. Because if you go like this and get lazy about it, if you get bit out there, you're done. Your rod's in the off position. You'll never catch a fish that way. All you do is, you know, send in those fish into the PETA organization's favorite fish. Ones that don't bite anymore. Ones you shoot an arrow over. So don't get lazy, even if it's at the end of the day, make sure you're gathering that slack and pointing your rod where it should be to swing at them. But yeah, here, I'll do them again. Um, this is probably the easiest one for uh, people to grasp initially is just stripping the line in and let your fly do most of the work. Um, then you can go to the rod movements, whether it's up and down or side to side, whatever you want to do. No, you can do that way. Yeah, it takes a little bit more out of it. And the third one that we utilize is that two-handed burn. And that one, if you don't have your act together, you can wind up with pasta salad. It's also pretty hard when the fish is coming to make that adjustment. But usually they come pretty fast, so it's not that's not usually the issue. So that's at least the retrieves that I utilize on a daily basis, especially depending on area. Awesome. And I'll, I'll do a combination of all three throughout the, the day, randomly too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wing one out there and you know do a two-handed strip, or I'll do the rod, or I'll do the straight strip. Or you find you prefer one method with a certain fly type over another. I do. I really like this fly in terms of the two-handed burn, but running it on the smaller ditch, it's not as important, I don't think, because it's you know the fish is going to see it within 10 feet. They're going to go. Or you know, maybe on the lower end where there's a little bit softer water, and it might be a little more pertinent. But for the most part, this fly will be doing the, the rod motion or the just the hand strip because there's not much real estate here for you know to really make the fly move and to cover the real estate as much. You don't need to, they're all pretty thin point. That's about it in terms of stripping and moving the fly.